Hey yo, it's Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Olize and today's episode is about how Gunna from YSL has released a new song called Bread and Butter. Now Gunna is obviously a YSL member, part of the whole Young Thug court case has been st- is still ongoing. Gunna's been under scrutiny since a video came out of him taking the stand which basically supported the prosecutors saying that YSL is a gang and they're trying to build a case against Young Thug. So everybody online and fellow rappers have been calling him a snitch uh, from Little Boosie to, to other podcasters. Basically Gunna has come out with a response in a song like I said it's called Bread and Butter. Although Gunna did supposedly cooperate he did do seven months uh, he pled guilty to a single racketeering charge though on the song he does bizarrely state that he was tricked by lawyers to take the stand so go try to figure that out I don't understand that how can somebody trick you to take the stand but anyway the first rapper he gets at is Little Baby now Little Baby and Gunna were good friends they, they, they messed with each other heavy before this whole court situation but as soon as the video came out Little Baby was one of the many rappers to start was start on following Gunna on Instagram but Gunna and Lil Baby used to make songs together, hang out. It used to really actually be a Lil Baby, Gunna and Young Thug kind of trio before the drama. They were that close. But yeah, Gunna aimed at Lil Baby by saying that he's criticising him for being a snitch when his own, that Lil Baby's own label boss has paperwork out there saying that he snitched. There was paperwork that came out last month uh, saying that Lil Baby's manager snitched on somebody in 2010 but he obviously denies that vigorously and then he also has an aim in another line on the song criticizing little baby because his friend little marlo was killed some time ago and that gun is saying that little little baby is still hanging out with the people that killed little marlo we don't know exactly who killed him but the word is out there that it was someone from 21 savages like someone who's affiliated with 21 Savage and Lil Baby and 21 Savage are still very cool so it's criticizing how Lil, ba- Lil Baby's a little bit of fake and a bit weird to be still hanging out with someone that killed one of his close friends Lil Durk is the other rapper that is mentioned on the song now if you don't know Lil Durk recently had an interview with BJ Academics and he was criticizing Gunner saying that he's a snitch and he hates snitches because Lil Durk's because Dirk's uh, father was snitched on and he missed a lot of life with his own father. So Dirk was saying how Gun is a snitch and he should have kept his mouth closed. And apparently Dirk has a song where he actually mentions Gunner. But it's an unreleased song. But Gunner, born Sergio Kitchens, gained popularity with his mixtapes and collaborations with other artists. His music primarily is like trap genre music, characterized by its heavy beats and melodic flows. Some of his most popular songs include Drip Too Hard, Sold Out Dates and OOK. He's released successful albums including Drip or Drown 2 and Guana. But the confusing thing about a lot of people is Gunner says he's innocent from snitching, he's not a snitch. But also is aiming shots at people that are calling him a snitch. But the people he's aiming shots at are people that are defending someone that he says that he's cool with which is Young Thug, so surely Young Thug is relaying his information that he's not happy with Gunner's actions. So that's why these people are coming out and saying all these things. But Gunner and Thug were very close before this happened. They had a very close personal and professional relationship, part of their YSL records, and they've collaborated on numerous songs together. Young Thug mentored Gunner through the business and exposed him to popularity and the music industry. He's featured on Young Thug's projects as well. Probably most notable collaboration songs were Hot, Ski and Chanel. Go get it. But what do you think about all of this? What do you think about Gunner's comeback song, Bread and Butter? Did it answer questions that you wanted answered? Did it make sense? And what do you think about the whole record in general? Leave a comment below. Like and subscribe. It's fresh hip hop opinion. Peace and love.